besides sending the police, you might want to send an ambulance or a hearse. Hello, Billy Ho here. Welcome to Billy Ho Sports Race to a Thousand Subscribers. I think I just crossed 900 today. 100 to go, so the countdown begins. I appreciate you all joining me. I appreciate everybody that's already subscribed to the channel. But if you have not and you like and you like these videos, please do so. Share the word too. I'll be at a thousand before you know it if you just help me out just exponentially like that. So with that said, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Appreciate you joining me. Today, we are going to cover another rookie running back, and it's going to be Seattle Seahawks' Zach Charbonnet. Charbonnet, however you want to pronounce it, but he is a beast. He's a big dude, so we're going to get into it right now. When should we draft him? When will we win to draft him? Break down pros and cons. So let's do it. Football! As we all know, rookie running backs are probably the easiest ones to transition to the NFL and be productive right away. Now, Zach will not be the starter for Seattle. They still have Kenneth Walker, but they drafted him 21st in round two. Six foot tall, 214 pounds. He is the right size to fit Pete Carroll's offense. Carroll has shown it doesn't matter uh, which one gets paid more, drafted first, most experienced running back. He has put rookies in ahead of studs before, so that doesn't matter. If he can prove he could play, he will play. But Kenneth Walker has proven like he was the guy last year. So we're going to watch some highlights as I go over it. So uh, kick off some Zach Charbonnet. I like to say it like that, actually, but I think it's Charbonnet. So anyway, you can see he has power. He runs over people watching his tape. His legs continue to churn throughout the play, so he can break some tackles, get tough yards, good on the goal line. Uh, he can catch the ball out of the backfield just fine. Uh, and I think he could be uh, – the the ability to find the end zone should help him be on the field. But Kenneth Walker's the same, same way, so it's going to be tough for him to see goal line carries unless we get an injury. So that that's, that's going to be so your main thing is you're going to be drafting him kind of as a handcuff. I don't particularly care for uh, – drafting handcuff players. I feel like it's kind of a waste of a roster spot. I feel like you could just get somebody else. But if you do have a guy that you know can light it up, like, you know, Alexander Madison's of the world from last year or things of that nature, yeah, you never know. Amazing, uh, so late round handcuffs can so come in handy clever, in right? that sense. Now, Stood, uh, pass protection, ball security. I think that's pretty. he's pretty good at that. Uh, he looks like he can lay the wood on some blitzers coming in, so uh, I think that's okay. Now, some negatives are, he you can see, he runs kind of real upright and tall, so that makes you more susceptible to hits and injury. He lacks that burst for the long runs, uh, so overall, he doesn't really dazzle you, uh, but I think he could be a serviceable running back. I, you know, he could be like a, a late-round pick as a flyer, especially if you have Kenneth Walker and you have the roster spot. Then and he's available to you in your last couple of rounds, then by all means grab him. Or if he does go undrafted, keep a real close eye on him in the first couple of weeks of the season to see if he gets any playing time. But if you see, God forbid, Kenneth Walker gets an injury or something and goes out early on in the season, snatch him up right away because he's going to be productive. Now, I do kind of think, or at least I hope, Pete Carroll kind of yeah. transitions into more of a passing offense. Then, but it, they pass enough. Pete, Pete will do what Pete does. Pete just goes with game flow. If he's got a good lead, he's going to pound the rock on you. But if he's chasing, he don't mind Geno throwing it. But I hope they, I hope they do uh, throw a little bit more this year. So uh, sorry for uh, Mr. Zach, but he's a, he's a good looking kid. I think uh, he'll be a fine uh, running back uh, as long as he uh, just puts in the work. So I hope you like the video. Uh, we're going to do another rookie tight end here in just a second. So see you soon.